Hello folks and welcome back to Base Ring. Here we are with the lorry and we've got the Libra crawler here because we need to pick up some pallets so we need some seed and some solid fertilizer because that's what we'll be doing today is seeding the canola, the rapeseed and potatoes because we can only plant. Yeah, towards the end of that episode Perhaps I was a little bit delirious with uh, the old planning of seeding soybeans and then sunflower, but we can't plant either of those until April, so I think that's what we're going to be doing today here, is just planting, rolling, and we'll do other bits in between. But also in this episode, we down the BGA, we got some new potato processing plants and new greenhouses, so greenhouses are producing the peppers for what we need for the what was it paprika chips potato chips basically paprika favorable Pringles or crisp I think it's more Pringles and Walker's crisp but so yeah we go down here obviously we've got a whole pull of our productions we can do at the potato processing plant and then also we got potatoes here from the potato storage and sorting bag so Actually, that's one thing I didn't look at was the was the potato sorting plant. So go over here. Or was it free green houses? Yeah, free green houses. Yeah, free producing the. Actually, we can have another one here going. If we get rid of this one here, actually, we may also buy the BGA also was for here, but. You know what, let's go do that all now. So, landscaping, needs paint, get the concrete. There we go, just whack it there. Also, really, you can get rid of some of these, actually, you know what? Heck okay. it. Get rid of the Waybridge. Surrey buy station, I'm not going to be buying Surrey. We're, we're producing so much Surrey, if we ever need Surrey for whatever it is, then. Yeah, I ain't gonna be an issue for us to landscape and concrete. No, concrete, not cobble soon. Actually, if we buy the BGA, is it worth. Actually, hmm. Because, yeah, if we place the BGA here, remove the greenhouses. Yeah, sorry, there's already water in there. They're not producing much at the moment, but. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go and redecorate all this. So, maybe a short time lapse or a jump skip, I'm not sure, but let's get this all done. done and that is most for money spent <laughs> yeah need more money but we do have access to this land over here so actually I'm thinking hmm, this would be a good field for access to this land here if we create a little pathway here move this pylon over or this lamp yeah I'm thinking a little field here Maybe sugar beet, because BJ can do sugar beet cut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I 
I'll just create myself more work. But anyways, we've got a lot of greenhouses. We added more, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Along with another set of five. Then I thought, shite, that second. Pallet storage, so... For now, we just place one here, but if we... Get these trees chopped down and sold... Maybe we can place it over there on the edge of the field. I did try to find this out as much as I can, but we had a little dip here that didn't want to cooperate with us at all. So, you know what? It's a bit ugly, but I think we can hide that with some hedgerows at some point. And like this, we can smooth all this out. Uh, I should try to do it now. So, landscaping, soften the terrain. Just try soften everything. Ooh. Turn all that camera was doing there, but yeah, we're down to just 50 grand. So, yeah, I think if we get all these trees chopped down, they seem to be decent sized trees. So, you know what? I think actually they can do pretty well. But before we put the manure and surrey in, let's have a look here. As we initially were going to talk about the seed potato production, so this is going to be a little storage area for our bags of potatoes. Under here, more storage, and uh, yeah, this is the sorting thing. So, actually, we don't need to uh, what's it transfer right to buy this one separately. This one comes with the building, which makes sense. And then, still, doorway to where we store some equipment down here. Thinking maybe we can leave the lever quarter down here, but I think. Yeah, to get around in here, we need something like a skid steer now. Because if we turn on the markers again... I can't see a loading point. This is around here. Ah. Is it here, perhaps? Looks like it, yeah, comes in here. Gets processed, sorted, and I think, yeah, the bags and that comes here, so that's certainly something we need to look at as well. I think I've never used this production before, so come the winter, come the fall, we can uh, they have an episode dedicated to that. Because, yeah, this is what, episode 21 now? I know there's been a bit of a lapse in episodes, I do apologize for that. Not as I'm having bored of the map or what, it's just, it's just how things go sometimes, so for now what I'm going to do is transfer the slurry in here, I'm not sure how much that is going to take, because yes we have a look, oh, half, not even half actually, that's the thing like we learned when we was doing the I'll work. Oh, with the contracts out, wasn't taking too many bells as an extra for him to do the contracts. 18,000 years of manure, so. Ooh, that is nothing. It's going to be a slow production. Certainly, we'll have to sell the excess somewhere at some point. But for now, we'll leave this here. Because, yeah, it's, yeah, overall I'm excited, so, going into our productions, obviously got water in some of them, the new ones hasn't got water, but come the following hour, it will have water transferred over, so I'm not too worried about that, but we do need to keep that distribution topped up now, because we're going to be having lots of water making, and I thought, heck it, let's make tomatoes there some strawberries. Currently they're set to distribution, but we'll get the paddits and then we can transfer it into here. But yeah, that is looking really nice. Definitely transformed it to once it once was. And yeah, spend extra money sending the old BGA transferring over. I think that costs us at 400 grand, I think. I actually didn't pay attention, but there we go. Here. 
But yeah, so I'm optimistic how this is all going to work out in there. I am worried. I, I am definitely worried about how that's going to work out. But anyways, the reason why we actually came down here for... Don't forget we can see on the left of the cab. But yeah, we can put the lever on here. Maybe squeeze the new Holland on here as well. But yeah, so we got one... Actually, if we just move that back a bit, we're going to need that for like the next episode for when we start to roll it in. So yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, five thousand year pallets of fertilizer. That's going to be more than enough for what we need. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten pallets of seeds. So hopefully that should be enough as well. Yeah, I'm not too sure of how it's all going to work out now. I am. I'm also worried about this as well. Uh, just a feel of worry. One strap on somewhere. Ah, that one. There we go. Anyways, we'll get the lever off. As far as I can actually rip the tension strap off to bits. So yeah, I think if we start off with the fertilizer, we can try to get as much close to the front so when this is on, it's going to be to here. And with the tractor, it's going to be to here, so if we can try to squeeze everything onto the upper deck here, it'd be good. But I don't think that's going to be possible. I'll give it a shot in me, so I think if we do these at three high, three, four high, it should be alright. We've got six, so we can do three highs. There we go. That's the limit. Let's go try squeeze for three, but. So, dang it, those pads are in the way. Try just to loop them back a bit. We can. Nope, we're just simply going right over them. Just shove out of the way. Well, perhaps if the new Holland can move them out of the way. New Holland, do your thing. Worst case scenario, we'll just use the pallet for fire by the shop. There we go. Shove them out of the way. It's going to make it awkward doing the news on, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So that's down there. Back into the lever. Yeah, the FE2 pallet is. Actually, my favorite is it's over them because it's starting to tip a bit, but it's in the realm of usability still, so maybe because of the weight, like the transfer, we may have to do a thing like can get free on the time, it get free white. Our issues because we're only going on one four, that was a yeah, they pay attention to that when we pick this up. No, do come off, please, do Just back it up. Ideally, I'll hold that a bit further over, but... Maybe if we go transfer to the pallet forks... No, it's not that. Where's control for them? Also a bad thing to pay the ass at the best of times. So now they do not want to go in. Oh no 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 
not screw it, but just do it two, so four, eight pads is going to be on there. So we'll get the rest done, and I'll see folks back at the farm. Oh boy, the power work is already doing well. really hectic off the own up. I think next time I'll just use like, the pallet fork or something. Not the pallet fork, on um, the big back hander from the tail hander. But anyways, we will get these all dispensed. Actually, we could do with moving... Uh, the plant cedar out of the way. The engines. So I'm gonna actually have room to maneuver for, but yeah. Not sure if that's gonna be a time lapse or just some short clips of me. Eventually got all sort of right, but then and it wasn't so right afterwards. Don't smash the cedar please. That's delicate equipment and before, yeah, we've had money to replace that new problem, but now, uh, not too much. There we go. Nope. Uh, bugger. And see it going in. Come on, go in. Guess we can source seed here. Fertilizer, yes. Seed, no. All right, it's a good bit of information to know. Thought we could source seed in there, but how much would it be for a seed tank or seed silo? Uh, let's have a look here. Anything that I know except seeds. Placeable seeds. That's only. Oh, yeah, we've got 10,000 a year, so. I think uh, somewhere like there. Ideally, if you want to spend all that money now. But yeah, even though we're sort of semi struggling financially, if needed, we can. You know, just chop some trees down for wood chips and sell it. On, take the seeds. Oh, 
bear with me a sec whilst I figure this out. So, we've got the seeds in here. Actually, let's see if we can actually put it into here. Yeah, we can. It was just a pallet situation, so... What's all that? Dang it, not all full money back. That was a waste of money, but... Now we know, I'm guessing, so... But yeah, so let's go and put some seed in here. I said... Uh, you know what, we'll just drive in. Yeah, that's right, we're getting a bit tired of the seed now, so... We'll just do that. There we go. A million point turned. Oh my hell, perfectly set up. Oh now you're just not going in. Really? Come on, let's go in. There's space. The only difference is they're in the seed storage now there, but that shouldn't make a difference. This is a separate silo system, so what's going on here? Alright, okay, oh no we Man, it's got an iffy trigger point. It's not really you think you'll be anywhere in that great area, but nope. It's specifically on this panel here. Oh, fair enough. You know what? I'm not even going to complain. Jordy. There we go. Just done that. No, stop being for it. Just... Over there. And... Push. Oh, I know what, that's far away. <laughs> oh, God, come on. <sighs> Anyways, back on to our scheduled programming. We need to put seed and fertilizer in here, so we'll go and do that. That's fertilizer, and that's the seed. Really, perhaps we could go away with just one pallet, but I thought not. Heck it, just buy a bunch, why not? So, yeah, we're going to be doing rapeseed, and we'll be doing it on this field up here. It goes from across the river to up into those hills over there. And also, we got the potatoes to work on. But I think we'll start off with just this field here. And maybe in the next episode, we'll stay in March. And then do potatoes, and then the rest of it, but... For now, I just want to actually get back into farming. Just do some farming, just do something normal. I think what we'll do is we'll see this first, then roll it, so that at least then... Because, yeah, we're at 10 to 3 now. And when it's working to the night, that is not an issue for us, so... We're going to be putting a quite a bit of nitrogen on. Round 148, 185, 200 kilograms per hectare. Seed rate at the moment, we're doing medium rate of 52 seeds per cubic meter. So for usage, Use a slight more fertilizer than seed at the moment. We are doing rape seed, so. But yeah, the nitrogen is going to be a varied rate. But in theory, it should be the only time it needs fertilizing. What we'll do afterwards is go over with the fertilizer, fertilizer spreader, and just get any bits that has been missed. So. We have a stop here for a moment. Each is good. But yeah, so look at the soil. Perfect, perfect. Just needs rolling, we can get away with that. But in theory, once we get the rolling done, we get that extra 2%, that means 
an extra 0.1 of a ton per hectare, so I'm guessing it's working, it's making a difference. I don't know, but it seems to be working. And the hard part is going to be doing the heads, and since this field well, were fields, but now it's just one field, it's so oddly shaped, it's all skew wifty. The heads is going to be a pain to do, like, he's right all corners here. But yeah, you see what I mean by getting rolling done afterwards, especially with the time lapse. If I were at normal time at the moment, usually I'd be like in times three or something, but just for the sake of at the moment, just sort of ski it back a bit. Doesn't matter all too much. I want to get as much crop in the ground as possible as well. There we go. Back it up. I think that's the hardest part on the tight turns. Immediately said how we crash into the hedgerow. You know what? We should just really skip on the hedgerows. Just give a little extra bit. If we don't get in, so what? The nitrogen is ooh, up to 300 kilograms per hectare now, so we may need to top up. Actually, no, I don't think we need to top up. Oh, will we? Not sure. Uh, we'll figure out once we're empty, if we are empty. But yeah, this is what I like about precision farming. It's just it makes life so much easier. Obviously, this bit here didn't really lime. That's because apparently it did need lime, so what? Heck it. But yeah, 425 kilograms. So this was the cow pasture area, so it makes sense, it does, it has had nitrogen put down before. Uh, and there are bits here we forgot to plow up, that was missed. And what well, is a new feature to the field. 500 kilograms per hectare. And seed rate at the moment, if we look at the soil type, it will vary depending on the soil type, so... At the moment, we're just doing loamy sand, but as we'll see, once we hit the silty clay, and then the loam, once we start going up the banks, there will be a difference in application. Hopefully a bit less seed. Let's just quickly find out here, so, as we're approaching the silty clay area, the seed rate may differ. There we go, silty clay. See on the top left, still 52 cubic meters. Still crashing to the hedgerow, so always good, always normal. But now, as we get to the hill, there we go, hit the loam now. This is going to be a low seed rate. Fertilizer, not so much, hitting 500, no, almost 600 kilograms per hectare, so. Uh, just. Yeah, it's one of those things, it is what it is. And this we see even on the fertilizer with the soybeans. Because they generate their own nitrogen when they're in the ground, so 666, mark of the beast. 700 off. Oh boy. Perhaps also we should be using average on the air has got a bit more horsepower than this. You know what? Heck it. Yeah. Let's go and swap equipment. And then we'll get this all done in time lapse. And I'll see you folks hopefully once we're done here. Hopefully not like that episode where it was every two hours we'll see each other. But yeah, it shouldn't really take too long I don't think really.
go. We are almost done with seeding. We've just got this last strip here left for the rape sea field. It took us actually not that too long to be honest. Could have done it quicker if you had a worker in that. But again, money wise, but then again as well, we can get money very quickly, so we may get a worker. Well I've gone to be all school with the there. But yeah, seeing white it's not too bad. Pretty much we'd be going through five times as in terms of percentages, five times the amount of fertilizer per seed, so when we are done with the fertilizer we have about twenty percent of the seed left. So I think we've done like three trips so far to the silo to get topped up. Three maybe four. And we're at the part now where we are hitting the old field we had before. And for, if you look on the PDA, under precision farming, you see, generally we can get good bits, but where we've gone a bit, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what happened, because you used the same setup here, but for some reason we wasn't getting a perfect application rate. Not sure why. Wasn't set to manual, otherwise it'd be all the same colour. But uh, who knows? Anyways, that does mean we are seeing enough fertilizer on some bits, but on other bits, it's over for what we need. So it ain't a perfect application of fertilizer, but it is what it is. And yeah, that was party, so it was a good thing that we've done that because a bit of a ponder and here's the final decision on what our field is going to be soybeans potatoes I've switched that up this is always going to be rapeseed this is going to be sunflower and these fields up here is going to be corn we do have these two fields down here do corn I think yeah, I think we'll do corn. Then, yeah, we can also get the barley in that. That's just made for chicken feed. We really could have got away without doing something else, but... Or do we just do sugar beet on this field here? Because what else can we plan? We can't do... Of course, you can't do cotton or sugar cane, which makes sense, because we are in Ireland, and obviously we can't grow sugarcane cotton like even the UK cotton sugarcane not a thing it's not the climate it's the climate and all that but unless we do yeah it's either going to be sugar bee or just more corn I think we'll do more corn actually because then the field by the BGA we can convert that into a sugar beet field and then we just get a sugar beet cut trailer so just put sugar beet in when we tip it out, it cuts it up into sugar beet cuts, so I think we'll do that. Well, yeah, so anyways, I think that's where I'm going to leave it today. So next time, we'll be starting on the planting that. Well, actually, we'll be starting off doing potatoes. Finally getting those in the ground. But also, actually, we do need to do the rolling, but I don't think the potatoes are going to take too long. Especially if we get a worker in that. Actually, let's do that now. Not get the worker on, but... Potato technology, so we will... Pardon me there. Yeah, we want this one. Uh, let's go with a new Holland on that. Won't get new Holland on that. Yeah, it's two grand per hour, but really, if we ever run finance here, we'll just quickly get those logs chopped. And actually, we could do that as well in the next episode because. Actually, yeah, sorry for going back and forth on here, but if we have a look at the prices for wood chips, I think it's still pretty good actually for wood chips, so. Yep, a grand at the moment, and the price is going to go down, so still decent enough. Maybe get a couple of hundred grand if we're lucky out of it. But yeah, so anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to come down below. 
If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to me, then please consider. But for just do, hope you're nice day. But for now, it's me, Farmer Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.